Hello, my name is Michael Crabb, and on behalf of all of my co-authors, I'd like to present our paper, I'm Surprised So Much Is Connected, a study on users' online accounts. So, think about all of the accounts and services that you use on a daily basis. You might go onto a weather website in the morning that you've logged onto using your Google account. You might then go and check your email using two-factor authentication from your phone. After that, you might drive to work and use a GPS application to help you get there. And then you might decide to watch some videos of cats on the walk from the car park to your office. All of these accounts, while separate, are linked. And this can be due to shared devices, two-factor authentication and recovery methods. The connections between accounts, devices and credentials are different for each user's account setup. Understanding the security risks that arise from these connections is a highly personal task that requires analysing the setup of a given person individually. In this work, we do two things. First, we develop a methodology to systematically elicit a user's account setup and subsequently provide actionable security advice. Second, we discover and highlight the structural features of users' account setups, with this including access patterns and compartmentalization. Previous work in this area has focused on broad security challenges that are applied to large population groups. To our knowledge, this is the first study that attempts to understand the granularity of online account security on an individual user level. And the foundations of this work is based on account access graphs. I'll go through a quick example of this and try and demonstrate when these can be useful. So let's say that you've got a phone and you want to unlock this phone and read your email. There's two ways to do this either with a locked phone and a finger or with a locked phone and a phone pin. Once the phone is unlocked, you can get access to all applications on the phone, with this including the basic mail application. Now, the full mail application can be accessed online with the addition of a password, and this will give access to additional features such as security critical functions. We can use this model to look for security vulnerabilities that exist in this setup. As an example, on this phone, SMS messages are shown on a locked phone screen with no password present. And we know that for this particular mail application, a password reset key can be sent to a user's phone via SMS. Combined, this creates another method to gain access to the mail account, which bypasses the traditional secure method. In this work, we carried out semi-structured interviews with 20 participants in order to understand their individual security setups and to then discuss potential weaknesses in these setups with the participants themselves. To obtain information on user account graphs, we developed a methodology that followed an eight-step process where participants self-reported information. First, participants were asked about the devices they use. This can be computers, smartphones and tablets. And they were also asked how these devices were unlocked, with passwords, pins and biometric information being examples of what people were talking about. Participants were then asked about global account security management and their password management strategy. Participants were asked if they used a password manager or what alternative methods they used to store their passwords. They were also asked about email accounts, as these often connect to many other accounts. Next, participants were asked about individual account access, and for each account they had previously mentioned, they were asked whether login requires a password or a second factor. They were also asked about resetting passwords for each of these accounts. Participants were then asked about their primary access accounts, and if these have accounts that they can log into other services. Examples of this can include Google and Facebook logins. Next, participants were asked about accounts with persistent login and if any of their accounts had open sessions on devices that did not require further authentication. Participants were then asked about leaf vertices. So these are accounts that are not used for any recovery or to log into additional accounts. Participants were then asked about their account setup behavior. So when participants had multiple email addresses, they were asked which one they are most likely to register as a recovery method when they set up a new account at a service. Finally, participants were asked if they had any additional information about their accounts they considered important but had not talked about. All of this information was collated and put into a tool that created a personal account access graph for each participant. And this is an example of what our system was able to create. In collecting this information, we can highlight the structural features of users' account setups. First, we were able to calculate the centrality of vertices in each participant's account graph in order to highlight aspects that are most important. In most cases, this was a device that the participant used, as this gave access to many accounts via open sessions. We also found that while password managers were commonly used by a number of our participants, most only stored some of their passwords in these, and not all of them. Second, we were able to identify cycles where multiple accounts can be used directly or indirectly to recover each other. 
and this could be due to email accounts recovering each other or passwords saved in cloud storage. In this example, there's two cycles. The first, highlighted in pink, shows a small cycle between the mail P and mail S accounts. All vertices in these cycles are sufficient to provide access to the next vertex in the cycle, which could in turn then give access to multiple other accounts. The next, highlighted in blue, shows a cycle that involves a password manager, multiple passwords and the cloud system. The difference with this cycle is that in order to gain access to the password manager, an additional password is also needed. And this creates this vertex as having the highest centrality score in this participant's diagram. Finally, we were able to show that some participants consciously separated their accounts with the goal of reducing spam and notification load. This could either be splitting things into work-related and personal accounts, or could also be based on the importance that's attached to a given service. In this example, the participant has three email addresses. One email account was for things that the participant described as being important. The second was for things they described as related to university. And the final account was for things that were more creative and social media type accounts. Our analysis of participants' individual account graphs illustrates features that create a uniqueness within an individual's own setup. However, there are also commonalities that exist within the account setups of our participants. We found that users may have an incomplete view of their online account setup and personalised security advice could be used to overcome this. Our participants underestimated the importance of the central accounts, such as email accounts, and commented that they were surprised that so much is connected. We also found that users struggled to see the links created between accounts due to password reuse, and some consciously favoured convenience over security, considering their accounts insufficiently important to warrant extra effort. We believe that work is required to highlight password database breaches to assist in mitigating this problem. Finally, during the study, we asked our participants about their security setups and why they choose to use secure options such as two-factor authentication. Participants commented that it can be a hassle to set these things up, but if it's enabled by default, they're more likely to not disable it and to continue using it. Our findings suggest that personalised security analysis and advice holds much potential. However, to achieve it at scale, our process requires automation support and we must further improve our understanding of users' account setups through larger scale studies. In the future, we aim to focus on how account setups compare between different demographics, what the prevalent account security management strategies are, and how they manifest themselves into an account setup.